this is this joint. Nice. That was nice. That was a dope ass intro. Hello, my worried travelers. This is Damnation. Welcome back to a new Let's Play I've been dying to play since I first heard of this. Welcome to Soul Hackers 2, a game made by Atlas and, Se and Sega. <laughs> I know about this game already. I'm well aware of the of Soul Hackers one, so I'm a little bit caught up. At the same time, I'm, there's still some stuff I forgot. <laughs> so, so if they mention some stuff and Soul Hackers one says, oh, let me let me go back to the intro. So I'll, I'll let you know if there's stuff I forgot. So this is a game I'm going in blind. So <laughs> um, I'm gonna be starting all over the place in this game. Hope y'all enjoy. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. How about auto save? This game uses an auto save feature. When the game is accessing save data, the icon will show on the screen. I expect it much. Hmm. Alright, before I go on, I'm gonna go to voice settings. Let's see here, select the voiceover language. Eh, I know you all give me flag for this, but I don't care. I'm going in for English. English? Continue these things? Yes. Hmm. Ah, oh, I thought it was gonna be di huh. I thought it was gonna let me do dialogue. Well, then again, it says voice setting, so I should have known better. <laughs> Anyways, let's start a new game. Prioritize either smooth performance or graphical detail. Hmm. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna try and see if I can go 4K here. Dang, this cannot be changed in game mode at any time. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna I'm go for it. Would you like to change these things? 
This can, it can be changed within the game at any time. Alright, let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Background, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make all let's of Let's keep at it. I'll make all of it even. Alright, camera distance, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Camera tracking, apply, speed message, graphic. Hmm. Huh, ah, so I can't change it. Eh. Eh, still apply. Alright, choose difficulty soon, start the game. Hmm. I should. I, I, hmm. Easy. Normal. Not hard. Hmm. Let's do easy. A forgiving difficulty for those one parts I experience. Unlimited continues. And not my style. The reckoning difficulty for those who often play RPGs can can use continues via items or hard. For an intense challenge, recommend those who are confident in their combat abilities. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start this game on, on normal, and if I ever beat the game and decide to go play New Game Plus, I'm gonna I'm gonna go hard just to te test my stubborn ass. Now, but for now, normal it is. Alright, let's see what this game does. This, this is a work of fiction. Names, characters, and instances are either products of the author's imagination used fictitiously, the crimes, beliefs, and justice story, and intents and blah, blah, yada, yada. This is the middle of the 21st century. Technology progressed with plateaued and lies socialites of humanity and not defined by slow stagnation. I'm sorry, I can barely read. Yeah, from the abstract, did. That a rich sea of the information I cannot read. New life had evolved. Hmm. Really now. Atlas. Respect. R respect. Hmm. Okay, Atlas, you're trying to freak me out with the glitches. Oh. Once more, once more into the, the breach, into the cyberspace. Hmm. Hmm. I guess this is the character we're playing. Okay. When I got this game, I made sure to avoid all spoilers. Ringo. Not... Ringo, that's her name. Is. <laughs> Ringo. is a conscious consensus, born from the sea of information, without beginning or end. Though aeons pass, Ion is eternal. What? Ion denies all forms of boundaries that define the individual self. Contradiction identified. You have addressed me as Ringo, requesting immediate correction. I am Flamma. I was created so that the will of Ion can be put into words. Words will be a contextually vital tool for your objective. Whatever that means. The objective of Ion is evolution. Individual existence indicates extreme retrogression. Finite physical manifestation classified under the above category. Requesting explanation regarding the necessity of a corporeal form. Our causal calculations have identified an imminent sequence of events. Ion has determined that these events represent a catastrophic threat to the future of humanity. Our role as a neutral observer is temporarily being suspended. Direct intervention is required to identify and intercept the cause of this threat. Well, you're certainly helpful. Therefore, a material form is required for material intervention. I understand and accept Ringo as the optimal form to exit observation. As Ringo, I request that Flamma provide the calculated causal evidence to prove necessity. Open your eyes, and I will show you a vision. Can you do so? Oh, that 
this one's like ominous at all. Oh. Oh shit, the homie from the intro. Man, why you do the homie like that? What the hell is this? Oh, oh, hell no. Uh, oh, angel eyes. Hell no. That wasn't ominous at all. Jesus. Huh. Hello there. Huh? Good morning, Ringo. And who are you, woman? Morning, Fig. Fig? <laughs> Well, she sure does have a nice fig, I'll tell you that. So, you got born into this mess too, huh? How are you feeling? Confused is what I'm feeling. Like the world was just created five minutes ago. Right? It hasn't been that long. Really? If we assume this world was created at the precise moment we attained sentience, that would be 12 seconds ago to be exact. Oh my god. Your individual personalities appear to be functioning as intended. Huh. Hey Flamma, who are we exactly? You are constructs. Your purpose is to protect the world of humanity. As const what? More specifically, you are temporary and limited manifestations of Ion. What the hell even is Ion? The situation will require versatility in approach and judgment. Therefore, you have been created with personalities designed to differ from each other. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm not doubting Ion's grasp of cybernetics. These bodies seem state-of-the-art and even... organic-ish? But... If ever you change about those things, I'm changing the tech speed. I thought Ion had a policy against taking physical form. Fair and giving enough. us our own senses of self? I think that's a pretty obvious downgrade considering. Sweet girl, you are. <laughs> I think. Listen to me. If they created us, then they're resorting to drastic measures. I take it we're dealing with a crisis? In any RPG and Atlas games I know of, you're always going to be dealing with a crisis. At least you're doing it now rather than later, I think. The world of humanity is coming to an end. There it is. I take it that's the point of the vision you showed me. I guess so. With that creepy eye thing, mm, I'm back in the the moment I can. But since I'm controlling it too, I can't do that. Very soon, the deaths of those two humans will set apocalyptic events into motion. So, we're trying to prevent it by stop- by what? Either going back in time and stopping it? What? Give me some info here. So that's our mission, then. Directly intervene in the human world, and prevent their deaths. Yep, yeah, that sounds about the gist of it. Alright, let's get to work. Thus averting the apocalypse? Precisely. Ion's reason for existence is to acquire information and evolve. Uh, uh, to that nice. end. We must ensure the world is protected. Yeah, of course. Okay, so... Who are these guys exactly? Good question. One is Ichiro Honda, a renowned computer engineer and a luminary in his field. So... okay, a scientist guy. The other is a devil summoner named Arrow. Ah, <laughs> uh, we... Uh, I think I already know what... I think I already know who we're gonna join with. Sorry, devil summoner? Uh, play, play, do play Devil Sub, play Shemigo and Tente all the way up to Devil Survivor 2, and for beyond that, then you'll get the gist of it. It's really long and complicated. The necessary information has already been provided to both of you, as well as abilities suited to your mission. Uh, cool, thanks. Are we gonna get into that? I guess 
we are. And this is a huh. I see. So this is what devil summoners used to fight. <laughs> uh yeah, back on Shimigam army series. to assume this mission will involve combat any anything involving devil summoner and this game involves combat you better get used to it honey correct your new bodies have been adjusted for this eventuality however if your forms are damaged beyond our estimations we won't be let me guess we won't be back as concepts anymore yeah well else is new then we could wind up dead as much as any human would Pretty much. Correct. You are accordingly advised to exercise caution in your investigation. Uh, anything involving devil summoner, demons, uh, scientists, a world now scientists, scientists and weapons doesn't really scream caution there, woman. Nothing screams caution in this. Sheesh. Okay, fine. I call the devil summoner. Fig, you take the engineer. And how did I know that was gonna happen? Hmm? How did I know that was gonna happen? Understood. Designating Ichiro Onda as target Alpha, and Arrow as target Beta. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll stop laughing, Arrow. Mission status initialized. I think for those who know these types of games, this is not going to end well. Oh, the drip is nice, though. Well, nice. this will be Ion's first contact with the human world. Let's make sure we do this right. Oh, I got mid third. I got mid third tripped out. Hey, I like the outfit there, ladies. One, two, Ringo here. Check, one, two, here you are clear. Currently en route to positional coordinates for target beta. What's the situation on your end, Fig? I was too late. Target Alpha, Dr. Ichiro Onda, has already been killed. Ah, uh, shit. You gotta work fast, girl. A murderer has purged local surveillance footage, too. But I did find a final message on the doctor's personal device. Nice. It was scrambled with an advanced level of quantum cryptography, though. Beyond any human technology's capacity to decipher. Gotcha. Almost sounds like it was meant for us instead. So what's the message behind all that encryption? Covenant. That's all. Covenant? Alright then. Covenant. An infrequently used synonym for contract. Though there's likely a deeper meaning here escaping me. Possibly another code. I'll keep analyzing. You do that. We'll handle, we'll handle the field work. Sounds good. Seriously, though? Couldn't Flamma have given us a drone or something? That's a good point. I can, help, I can help out a lot easier. This body is so inconvenient. My surveillance range is tiny with just these two viewports. <laughs> Your interference in the human world must be concealed by any means possible. Ion's mandate for this mission is maximum secrecy. No, uh, touche. Touche. It's safe to assume we won't be receiving any reinforcements, drone or otherwise. Wow. But your point is made. I'll look into alternatives. Yeah, sure. Maximum secrecy. But now they've made two humanoid platforms, and they're even calling for direct intervention. I assumed Ion's whole thing was always being an observer and nothing else. 
So this mess must be way beyond. Hmm. See something? <laughs> What's up with you? Rico? Sorry. Just started raining over here. Wow. Crazy. I can feel my skin reacting to this. It's all weird and shivery. You'll get used to it, girl. You'll get used to it. An understandable reaction, considering we've never experienced it before. You'll that's just have true. to get used to it. Yeah, that's why I said. Yeah, great. Like how we have to get used to being stuffed into these bodies. I'm like a factory made sausage. I'm not gonna go there. I am not gonna go there. Why bother with these human imitations? They're not exactly optimal. Our computing's just down across the board. Is this really gonna help us somehow? Let's complain more getting used to it. Ion's findings suggest that these bodies would be most appropriate for the mission. It strikes me as a form of backwards compatibility for the task at hand. Mm. Backwards compatibility I can deal with. I'd just rather not feel like a supercomputer stuck inside a grandfather clock. If you have complaints, please direct them to Flamma. You're not the only one struggling to adapt. I was literally just said that back, but not that long ago. Learn to adapt, girl. That's how you survive. Fine. Guess I won't get anything done by whining. As long as I'm stuck in this qualia prison, I might as well have some fun with it. Just not too much. You don't know how human acts in this world. We're not here for fun, Ringo. How about we cut the comms for now? I gotta focus if I want to get used to this body. Understood. There are hostile demons and devil summoners in the area, so be careful. I'm on my way as well. Finally. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's get some action in. Demons. Supernatural entities of myth and legend. Their existence has been tied to mankind for ages, but even Ion doesn't know too much about them. Well, you better. Well, you're about to get some experience while on. Head on at me. <sighs> I'm struggling here. You're about to get the education today, girl. And devil summoners? Let's see. Would be the humans who make contracts with these demons, using their demonic partner's powers as their own. Yeah, been around since the dawn of time. <sighs> uh, there are a lot more trouble than the demons, I'll tell you that much. So it looks like I've got a comp and a demon summoning program. And we are about to be devil summoners. Hooray! Devil, let's get that devil survivor action going This is on. all I need to fight back, huh? Seems simple enough. Hey, Pixie. In a while. <laughs> nice to hear from you, too. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Let's. Some stuff for your mom at. Let's see here. Hmm. Huh. So far? Huh. <laughs> well, so far, man. So far, so far, this game, uh, I don't really have any much opinions on it right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got a cool story going on about. Oh, I'll shut up now. Uh. Yeah, I think it might be too late. Oh no, don't tell me. Uh, yep, we're too late. Mission fails already. Failure already. Starting things off right. Ringo, have you located target beta? Yep, he's a dead beta. Oh, I found him. See for yourself. Target acquired. How horrible. Cause of death is. Well, I don't really need to spell it out, do I? Bullet to the head. One and done. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be laughing, but. 
<laughs> I like her. I'm starting to like her already. Then the end of the world is right then. Ringo, just what are you planning to do? Yeah, I want to know that myself. What are you gonna do, girl? I'm gonna try a soul hack. If there's any of his soul left in there, I should be able to gather him up and put his psyche back together. What? But there's so much we don't know about soul hacking. And it's not meant for bringing people back from the dead. What? There's a reason we have so many limiters on that function, Ringo. If it fails, you'll be the one who ends up paying for it. Hey, if we're not prepared to use all the tools we're equipped with, that's just a waste, right? I get where she's coming from. I get where Fig is coming from. For me? What the hell is soul hacking? We don't do this right now, but we can say goodbye to whatever leads we might have had. The entire world's at stake here. I mean, yeah, that's true, but... Hey, it's nice to know that you care, though. Especially seeing as we were just born. It's kind of weird, actually. You know, the phrase people would use for na naive days to be able to look like we were born yesterday, but you were literally born, what, 20 minutes ago now? Soul hacking will leave you completely exposed to the enemy. Can you at least wait until I'm there? Do you even have do you even have time to wait? Well, there's no telling how much a human soul will change once its body's up and gone. All we know is, the sooner we do this, the better. Yeah. I don't know if I can argue with this or not. Know that if you get lost in his memories, you won't be coming back. Hmm. There it is. Do you understand me, Ringo? You are irreplaceable. I need you to remember that. Aww. That's cute. Thanks, Fig. But don't worry. I'll make sure both of us get through this mess. For now, I better get started. Invoking emergency override. Self-regulation suspended. Self-check process suspended. Protection set to partial. Spell sequence, soul hack. Systems are go. Whoa. Is there an in-game function to this? I guess not. Agent now sampling the target soul's wave signatures. Complete. Soul sync complete. This soul of yours, Arrow. Arrow? Wait, the guy's name's Arrow? for me asking, but where the hell are we? More. I have to go deeper. Uh, okay. Is that a 
sweet. That's light. This. This must be a memory. Hmm. Well, this is the only world we've got. No point wasting all our time moping about it. Or turning into jerks. Hmm. Okay, it's arrow. Never mind. Forget what I said though. Licensed. Now you're officially an agent of Yadagarasi. The agent of the bird demon? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Congratulations, Hera. I know how hard you've worked to reach this point. wrong. I'm sorry. What? Here we go. <sighs> this is my soul. What are you doing here? Oh. So you're aware, huh? Did you know you're dead, too? I did. Didn't exactly go out peacefully, did you? Look, could you just leave me alone? I'd like to spend my final moments in peace. I mean, that's what we all would like. But apparently that's not going to be the case. So you're just gonna drown yourself in regret? Wow. How do you know about that? Well, I only know bits and pieces. I saw some stuff on my way down. So, just what is it that you regret so badly? I can think of a few things what he regrets on. Who... Who are you? And why are you inside me like this? Uh, phrasing, man, phrasing. My name's Ringo. I'm an agent of Ion. An agent of... Ion? Yeah, see, even I'm confused about this. Ion is an eternal, unchanging, ultra-intelligent observer of the times, born from the farthest reaches of technology. That does not make things any easier, girl. And the situation dictates that I have to look like a person right now because, you know, reasons. Still not making it easier to make yourself sound crazy. Wait, so... you're not human? This has gotta be a joke, right? That's an appropriate response. Singularities typically occur outside of the public eye. But here's one right now, standing in front of you. Nice. Alright, so why are you here? I'm here to bring you back. You're gonna help me prevent the end of the world. Can I have a tall order there for him? The end of the world? Very soon, your soul will disappear. And your chance at coming back will go with it. If we don't act now, the world's as good as gone. So, come on, Arrow. You gonna help me stop this or not? Think of this as a second chance. A chance to get it right. <laughs> I... Better make the right choice, man. <sighs> I can't let it end here. Yep, that's what I was expecting this year. Let's do this. I'm swearing in that voice actor. Soul 
soul hack. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back to the land of living. Welcome back. <sighs> Hello. You good in there? Soul back where it should be? I was literally just about to say that. I was just about to say you good, bro. <laughs> You're Ringo. You're an agent of Ion. There we go. Glad that actually worked. Not surprised it did. Did all of that really happen? It wasn't a dream, was it? Nope, it was all real, bro. It was all real. Nope, that definitely wasn't a dream. You got shot in the head, I used my fancy ion superpowers, and then you came back. Even my wounds are all closed up. Did Ion's power do that too? Apparently. That's more like a side effect. With the soul restored, the body heals by reflex. Like a macro level juiced up homeostasis, which organic cells already do. Okay then. A soul hack can draw out all kinds of weird spiritual contingency effects, and that's one of them. Oh, all right. That said, it's a pretty drastic measure. Can't just bust it out whenever I feel like it. That's fair. I think I get it. Whoa, you bought it that easily? You're not even a little suspicious? I mean, I'm a little bit, but I don't know about him. Wait, so it wasn't real? Was it just an illusion or something? A, a demon spell? Oh no, it's still totally real. <laughs> this is gonna be so much. I'm pretty sure it's still gonna. Still processing this. Oh, of course. I mean, it felt pretty real. So, I died and now I'm back. Kinda get used to weird things in my line of work. Though coming back from the dead is definitely a first. I didn't even know that was possible. You look. You literally cheated death, man, so you have a right to be freaked out. You ought to get out more. I guess I have you to thank for this. So, so uh, what? Thanks, Ringo. As you progress through the story, you may notice occasional increases in something called soul level. Its purpose may be unclear now, but you'll learn the truth in time. Gee, thanks, man. Both explanation? Yes. Anytime. Okay, I'd better move. I need to get back to my mission. You just died, you want to get back to work? Damn, you're a dedicated guy, I'll give you that. Whoa, whoa, hey, Arrow? Mind if I tag along on that mission of yours? I get the feeling you and I might be on the same side. You two technically are, in a way. You know how to fight? Of course I do. Wouldn't be bragging about saving the world if I couldn't. A lot of people in RPGs have. But do you, Ringo, do you? Well, sure. Just like that again. No questions asked, huh? Don't have time for questions. Besides, after what happened back there, I guess I just know I can trust you. I won't trust people too easily, man, but you do you. With how bad this mission's gone, I'm not in a position to turn down help anyway. So I'll follow my instincts. Doesn't matter if you're a robot. Robot's kind of reductive. Eh... So, what should I call you, an organic life form? But you technically are not. Well, Ringo, whatever you are, I'm glad you're on my side. For the record, I'm Arrow, a devil summoner with Yatagarasu. Yatagarasu, huh? A supranationalist group based in Japan. They work behind the scenes to protect civilians from supernatural threats. Hmm. Most of our operatives are devil summoners, like me. We summon and command demons to help us fight. That's why I was here. Yadagarasu had me on a mission to protect a woman named Melody. That's how you pronounce her name? Melody? Well, then again, well, I'm pretty sure that I'm... Then again, uh, what was her name? Haru from P5 had a persona called Melody, so I can't really judge on that. Which you totally botched and got your skull ventilated. Say no more. So now we just look around this area for Melody? Damn, Ringo. Yeah, that's the idea. Come on, this way. 
Alright, lead away, boss man. Okay, Fig. Mr. Beta's secure and back on his feet. For now, I'll be working with him to rendezvous with a human named Melody. Noted. I'm glad to hear it. I'm on my way. Very much fast. Well, at least we're not on the fast track to the apocalypse now. Hopefully. Eras, join the party. Alright. Alright. Yeah, so far, this story is actually pretty dope. I mean, literally like 30 minutes in, already we revived the motherfucker back from the dead. What the? Arrow? I thought Kabaraki killed you. Did we get bad intel? Oh, that pretty smooth Kabaraki? Okay, now it's on sight. Damn it. Who's this? Friend of yours? He's a devil summoner from the Phantom Society. They're after Milady. The Phantom Society? Oh, so a bad guy. Oh, the Phantom Society from the first game? Glad to see some elements still, still in there. I got, I got a bone pick with these motherfuckers. Let's do this. Damn traitor. I'll have to put you down myself. Try it. Hey, you ever fought a summoner before? Nope. Then you'd better stay back. Don't worry, I catch on fast. Just watch my back, you tough guy. <laughs> okay. Man, she's on sight. Is that Demon Summoning Program? Booting up. Weapons, break. I like that transition. No more screw ups. This time you're gonna stay dead. I would say over my dead body, but I've already been shown. Is that a Kamala? Well, that ain't a Kamala. Okay, first battle. Come on, Arrow. What? Damn it! Hey, what's the problem? Aw, oh, dude, what are you doing? I can't summon my demons. What's going on? <laughs> can't squirm out of this one, pal! Looks like Arrow's demon control privileges got transferred to my call. Uh-oh. I get it. Probably a side effect of the soul have. Oh, you've got to be joking. Come on. <laughs> What? Sorry. Kind of figuring this out on the fly, but I optimized your summoning program. You what? <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. I can't think of spirits with that face. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. Ooh, oh, dear. Oh, the battle menu. When it's Rigo's turn, the battle menu will be displayed. You can take various actions by pressing the corresponding buttons. First, press the X button for skills and choose Zeo. Attack the Borishman. I'm on deck to. I am on deck. We're fighting for our own cause. Mm. Oh, okay. I want to escape. Try to resist. Where? Where is I? There's circles of guards. Let's roll! Let's stay cautious. Strength! How was that? What the hell? Why is there a blacked out red eye pixie up above him? No way. Did you use a demon's power to attack? Guess I'm not the only one that noticed it. This is impressive. You can do it too, you know. Give it a try. Uh, okay. I'll just try to copy what you did. Uh, see what you can do. The comments waited by Ringo and her party have been prepared with Ion Tech. You can equip demons to them. By spending MP, I like the skills of any demons that are equipped to their comp. Okay. Next time for Arrow, choose Blue Food and Tech to Dormark. Oh, his name is Dormark. I gotta catch up on the demons. Okay. Right. How's this gonna be? I hope this works. Freeze you where you stand! 
Demons could do that. Damn. Damn, all of us got level 11. 1300 yen, that's good money. Next, we got, we got Nitrium and Beast Claws. Cool. Hmm. Ringo? You good, girl? I can't help but wonder about that demon summoning just now. Really? I think the reason you weren't able to summon anything on your own is because of the soul hack. Hmm. Huh? Simply put, your soul was altered. And it looks like a piece of each of our souls were more or less welded together. Okay then. It may be because of a difference in our ability, but no matter which way you look at it, I've got control over your demons now. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's helpful. That's really helpful. And there's nothing you can do about that? Is there? Not at the moment, no. There's a lot about soul hacking even I don't understand. Oh, God. For the time being, you'll just have to settle for some ion enhanced summoning. Swell. And that's true. And on top of that, we'll be able to use more powerful techniques like Sabbaths. Got that right. If only we had Black Sabbath the band to help us, help us with the Sabbath. Okay, okay, I'm done. Pluses do seem to outweigh the minuses here. Guess I'll just have to get used to it. Pretty much. Looks like you're stuck with me till the end. <laughs> nice. I've gotta ask though, why'd that guy call you a traitor earlier? Good question. Do you need to provide an answer, Daryl? I was on a mission for Yadagarasu, and I wound up going undercover within the Phantom Society. They had no idea I was a double agent. I probably should have picked up on that earlier. But I had to protect Melody. So just like that, my cover was blown. Oof. The Phantom Society. That summoner we just beat was one of theirs? Pretty much. Yeah, and they're Yadagarasu's sworn enemy. The Phantom Society is a secret organization of devil summoners, just like Yadagarasu. Where we differ, however, is our intentions. They want one thing, to see this world destroyed. There it is. You mean... Exactly. The end of the world you were talking about is almost definitely linked to the Phantom Society. Again with this? Things are starting to come together here <clears throat> in a pretty big way. Safe to say, we can count Ion's appearance as part of all that. So, I wonder what god we're going to face in the end of the game. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out somewhere, somewhere, one way or the other. Sounds like we better hurry then. Yeah, bless. Oh look, another enemy game. up ahead. Uh, let's see if I can make this out. I'm thinking either that's Barith or Aparis, or Aparis, or something completely new, and I don't know what the fuck that is. Strikes. 
On the field, Ringo can slash out at enemies by pressing square. Entering battle with an enemy down, and this way can give you the advantage of battle outset. Alright. Command menu, press triangle to open the command menu. There you can view and use skills and items, check summoner or demon stat. The equipment is safe low game data. You know what? I'm, I should probably say the game right now. Also in this game, demons can be equipped to your party's gun. Depending on the demonic allies you have equipped, your party stats and available skills will change. So switch them up and try new strategies and target enemy weaknesses. Alright. Well, before I get going, I might as well say. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother reading all of it. Yeah, I know this game does. I know this game does a uh, quick save, but just for safety precaution, save data right. Here. I'm gonna save right here. Nope. All right. Yeah. All right. Now let's see here. Summers. Oh, the summer menu. This menu. So, in the summer menu, you can. Check character statuses and change their equipment. Press square to view their skills and their comp statuses. When changing equipment, you can select the category from the list on the right side of the screen. I told you I was going to be stuttering a lot, so bear with me. Hmm. All right, check skill, check comps, animal, little accessory, picks demon, mystique, outfit, okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'll pro Hmm. Let's see here. So we're gonna specialize in strength, intelligence intelligence and agility. And you focus on intel intelligence, vitality, and agility. Alright. This to you. I got this. You gonna try it out? Yeah. Ah. Hmm. What's our next move? This Take power. Away. We can target their. Let him have, have, have it, arrow. Right away. <laughs> Work. Boom. That's one. Out of my way. Oh, we have some action. Do your worst. Charge. Here. <laughs> yeah, see Here goes nothing. Deepful. Oh, you're gonna pay for that. Okay. What's this? What's this improvement change? Let's you roll. Want you want my help? No way to tell. Thunder. You want my help? So. Take that pain. Well done, Rick. Okay. Ooh, that'll work. You got it. I didn't even know it was weak to lightning. Got it, Rico. We can win this. He already did. Wow, over already? Damn. Oh, okay. We only want full three already. Yay! Uh, I like it. What could be? Ah, you want idea. And you're right. Jilly, you want. Alright! Nice. Awesome! Neil shot. Way to go, buddy. Alright, alright, let's move on. <laughs> hey, Ringo. Be a bit of a waste to use demons solely for fighting, you know? Oh, you mean they can be used for other things? Yeah, recon. You can send them out to scout our surroundings. And if we get into a fight, you can just call them right back. We can do that. Oh. Then how about we give it a try? Yeah, let's. Minions! Head it out! Demon Recon. When you first set foot in a dungeon, your demons perform Demon Recon. Your scout demons can be found around the map, and they might introduce you to other demons 
they commit or hand over any items they found in exploration. Sometimes your demons might make discoveries connected to the story or request, so make sure to talk to them if you see them around. Hmm, nice. Alright, well, let's see what she found. <laughs> la la la, pretty girls look good in read, even prettier in blood. Oh, that's the obtained chocolate drop. I'll give you this. Promise you won't tell them I'll see me, okay? Okay! No problem. Yeah, sure, no problem. Don't really care much, anyways. Uh. Hey, I wasn't ready yet. Let's away from your fighting hiding spot. Boo. Aw, sorry, buddy. Your know, life's tone. Next time, wait until I say I'm ready. Grown to follow the rules, okay? <laughs> uh, next. <laughs> we'll play hide and seek later, buddy. I promise. Later! See you, buddy. Alright, well. Alright, well, that's over. I'm gonna move on ahead. Hmm. Is there any chest nearby? Hmm. Again? Hey, Pix. Um. This demon is interested in you. You know I'm a cure one. <laughs> wow. What are you guys? Sound, I don't know. Sounds like a lot of drama. Let me have it. Wait, I got that much Mako. I already got that much Yen already? What the hell? You know what? We might need some extra firepower, so sure. Huh, I guess I'm. If you're gonna make a deal out of it, just, just fun. Let's things. do this. I'm a beast, Dormark. I'll call you Ren Ren, and I'll totally do my best and stuff. Right. Contract with demons. If you make a contract with demons, they'll become your ally in the summoner menu. Demons can be equipped to. Uh, Arms, or they aid their power on their own. Ah, uh, okay. Before it the new demons. There we go. Alright then. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna go find. I'm gonna find uh, poltergeist. Or kids. I'm gonna find poltergeist and then I'm gonna take a break from Nice! Them. Shaman marks. I won't tell anyone I'm singing. Like I said, I don't care, so if you want to give me some stuff, you're Bye fine. Both you guys, come out, buddy. Hmm? But before we find them, yeah. come here. Actually, what am I doing? Alright, summons. Alright, uh, let's see here. Alright, should I? Let's see here. The demon menu, we're gonna change and create demons from the battle. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, don't care. Let's see you. Alright, yeah, you got their weaknesses in this. Alright. <coughs> Alright. Let's see here. Alright, well, I'll hold off on quick one for now. Yeah! Right now. Didn't expect Let's this. Fight. Ambush. Oh shit. Oh, this will be okay then. This enemy's new with this power. Alright, let's How's try this. Gonna go? Silent is snowfall. What? Oh. Nice. Just what I'd expect. Alright. Let's stay cautious. Here goes. Okay. Hands down. You wanted to fight? You got one. <laughs> nice work. Um, Pulse, guys, is that you over there? Found you. How about that? Yeah, I did. See that? I found what you were looking for, didn't I? The team revival beat. Aren't you proud of me for remembering? I want to see what else I can find lying around. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Later. Bye. Alright y'all, I'm gonna take a break from here, and next time, we'll continue on with Soul Hackers 2.